I, hello, everybody. I'm very glad to be here. But you know, I didn't have a lot of preparation time, so I do not have my 16-page like, essay. Here. I'll have to give you a brief version, which is, uh, you know, war is not just horrible, morally wrong, you know, uh, unacceptable, a violation of human rights. Also, we can't afford it. Uh, we have a long, we, we all have a long wish list of things that need to be accomplished in, in this world to improve the human rights and the standard of living of, of the people in the world generally, to provide that basic level of justice which, will, which can prevent war. And that's where, that's where our wealth should be going. That's where our government spending should be going. That's where our taxes should be going. Now, you know that there's actually a, a, a worldwide depression going on. I mean, they call it by different names. Recession, downturn, upturn, you know, record uh, profits for the brokers in Wall Street and so on. But the, what, what do we see here in Alberta? They cut back on education. They cut back on health care. And we're told that that you know, we can't afford these basic necessities of life. We can't afford these basic components of citizenship for our people. But you know what? We can afford it. I'm just I'm inviting them to take it take it out of my share of the aircraft carriers and the cruise missiles and the stealth bombers. Take take it out of the, those budgets. There's actually plenty to go around. But there isn't, we, you know, we actually cannot afford the bombs and, and the guns and the butter. The problem is not with the butter. The problem is with the guns. We can't afford the guns and we've got to get rid of them. 